maybe 10 minutes for this phone's done charging for I do my little workout video. I want to topic this show, I am the monster that feminism created. Yeah. What do you mean, Shimmy? Those of you who uh, have watched my movies or other shows, if you don't know me, Google me, Shimmy, The Shimmy Show, etc. I've been an adult webmaster since the 90s, meaning I make adult websites. Basically, I'm just a computer nerd that does HTML, and that's pretty much what I did back in the day. HTML, design the page, promote it, spam it, make it look pretty. Pretty much a stay-at-home job. Work 20 hours a day, you'll do good at it, right? But back in the day in the 90s, I never got in front of the camera. I never fucked with the production end of uh, porn because, well, for one, I didn't have a camera or know how to use one. And two, I'm, I, was, you know, I was doing this at like 18 years old and whatever, so I'm, I have literally no experience in relationships. I'm almost a virgin, you know, at, at 18. You know, I've only had one girlfriend or whatever. Uh, never kissed a girl till age 18, etc. I missed a lot of milestones in life in my teenage years just due to lots of shit. Lots of shit. Single mother upbringing, scared of girls, sex is bad, get AIDS and die, all this shit shoved down your throat. Brainwashing, school system, slideshows, you're going to get diseases, you're going to do this, you're going to fuck your life up, all this shit. If you indoctrinate a child or a teenager with all this kind of programming, well, or bombard them with enough of it, eventually enough of it's going to seep into their brain to make them be abstinent, be good, this and that. I guess I also, being an only child, single mother, household, all that shit, I, want, I didn't want to give my mom a hard time. You know, I, I really was sold the doctrine that, you know, just study, work hard, get a good job, and do, 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 do. And that shit doesn't work. It's not real world applicable, at least not in the era that I grew up in. I don't even know if it's applicable now. Right? Yeah, the 1970 program probably does not work in 2019. So you, you have to, every generation has to adapt to whatever to survive. And a lot of times, our parents' generations and grandparents' generations, they have no fucking clue what's going on because they haven't been to school or work in a very, very long time, in decades, right? So dynamics change, and some people ain't aware of it. And, you know, school systems are antiquated and this and that and all that. Where am I going with this? Okay, feminism and how it made me the monster, pornographer, porn star guy, or whatever I am today, Shimmy from the Shimmy Show. I get devalued so much. While being a, a, just a computer nerd in the back room of the house, cranking away websites, uh, by my ex-wife, it's the devaluation, man. It's, uh, you know, you have a successful business, it gets broken down, whatever, and you get told that you're stupid and you're stupid and you're not good. Aside from that, you're also told that, you know, you're fat, you're ugly, you're unattractive, you're this, you're that, you know, you're stupid, you're short, uh, dick too small, this, that, uh, not black enough, quote unquote, I, I can go, I can go down the list or whatever. The entire list is all shaming and it's all coming from a woman that's like, good Lord, just like a washing machine with legs. And, you know, it's like, I never really put it in that frame, because when you're under the chemical high of love, romance, dopamine, fucking uh, serotonin, oxytonin, oxytocin, whatever the fuck, all these, like, bonding chemicals and hormones, your brain ain't really thinking straight. And you're highly susceptible to suggestion until you actually get snapped out of it by, like, hey, survival instinct kick in, whatever, right? So I never thought that I was really would be in front of a camera, let alone hold a camera, or let alone be in front of a camera, because I'm socially awkward, shy, quote unquote, thinking I'm not a good lover, not a, I don't have a lot of experience with girls, um, yeah, you know, never like dated models and this and that, I never thought highly of myself, due to a lot of, uh, you know, beating in the head or whatever, um, lots of shit, man, I, I, it really, it really fucks with me, right? So this is how this is feminism. So, the, the, well, this is where it came into play or whatever. The whole sh the whole shaming tactics or the lines are you ain't good enough, you ain't this, you ain't that, you ain't that, you ain't that. It's punk shit if a girl does it semi occasionally to you, 
to like poke you with chopsticks and be like, yeah, fuck you, nigga, ha ha. But you know, if you know she really loves and cares about you and demonstrates their reactions, that's generally easily brush offable. But if you're constantly bombarded with it every day, just like a morning prayer indoctrination or whatever, I might as well have been in a fucking North Korean labor camp mining coal every day. Yes, great leader, you are the greatest, blah, 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 every day. And you say this thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of times over and over, just like me repeating my workout programs or repeating my runs thousands and thousands and thousands of times over, you're going to get results. And uh, whether they're favorable or unfavorable, you're going to get results, you know? So you should be careful about how you, uh, for women out there, you should be careful about how you Careful what you say to the man that you love, because eventually it's going to be true. If you tell him he's fat and lazy and crazy and this and that, he's going to become fat and lazy crazy. He's going to internalize that shit because he's going to take your word for the gospel. Especially, he's going to realize you wouldn't be saying it a thousand times over if it wouldn't so validate some validity into it. And eventually, I think our brains will shape into that reality. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's the inverse of that power of positive thinking shit, but it's like it's not really about the thinking, it's about the action, it's about the constant blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. To hear you hear it in your sleep eventually, it gets beat into your head so much, right? So this is this is me, right? Going back to my story, I never thought I was uh like a beautiful person or a capable you know, I'm not like a good speaker, I, I I'm you know, all, I'm on all that shy shit, right? I'm beta male, remember? Number one beta male on the internet, shimmy. So I never really thought much of myself. Um, I remember this one particular afternoon, though, in Canada, right? Uh, I shut my sights down. The billing company shut down. Money's gone. I'm, like, just hanging by a thread trying to, like, just get milk money for the kids, literally, right? So I start looking at, well, what could I do sell trade can i sell some of this content trade do i don't know what i could do just it's like basically once imagine a business that's out of business and you you know you got to clear out your shit because the lease is up and shit like that right so doing this in a virtual level i was like well maybe i could sell my old customer database or email list to some of these old spammer guys and this and that and whatever right so one day i put a post on a uh, adult webmaster board it might have been they're probably not around anymore they were called why not net pond and all these things back in the day uh, European people and shit a lot of people would buy email lists for for mailing like for instance someone would join my site they get their email list added to the customer list and webmasters often trade customer lists if they have similar fan bases crowds whatever it's how you get junk mail and spam and this and that opt-in emails you agree to this shit when you sign up so I had a batch of like I don't know, man, like 30,000 whatever emails or something. And I put a post on the board saying, hey, I got these email lists for sale. You know, just make me an offer or whatever, whatever, whatever. And uh, these these are not 30,000 emails. It's not really much at all, right? I think, I think a girl might have offered me 40, 50 bucks PayPal. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Whatever. Fuck, it's money. I could make my wife happy for the afternoon. <laughs> so I sold it or whatever, right? And I didn't realize at the time... I was talking to an actual, you know, the model site owner. It was some solo girl. She had her own site, you know, naked pictures, videos, shit like that, typical stuff. But I was actually interacting with the actual girl, right? And this is where, this is where like some light bulb went off in my head, right? While I was up in Canada, I was like, because the girl was friendly, nice. We chatted and this and that. We did the trade, whatever. She sent me a little bit of bullshit money. But I had this like weird feeling I never met this girl. I don't even remember the girl's name, by the way. But, like, I had this weird, like, warm and fuzzy feeling inside myself that another girl, a real girl, and this one's like a quote-unquote real model. This is, like, a very big thing in my head at the time. You know, I'm still in my 20s, by the way. So this is, like, a very big thing in my head at my time. Like, oh, my God. Like, I'm actually emailing a, a model, a real naked model with real naked pictures and videos, and it's really, really her, man, right? I'm trying to, like, put myself in my head back in my 20s. This is how I was thinking, right? So, even though marriage is fucked up, and this is fucked up, and everything, you know, it's like, wow, I got some female attention from another girl. And this did, this never happened up until this point while married, because, well, for one, I'd never leave the house. I'm always with the kids, and, uh, 
yeah, it, it, I have no friends. I'm in a, in a country, I have, yeah, foreign country. I don't know anybody. Uh, half the time I'm in some remote location. I'm cut off from my family, have no friends, all that shit. So to get basically just like a thank you or a, you know, nice to meet you or any kind of like just camaraderie validation from a girl, from I guess like you could say an attractive girl. And I was like looking at her site after like, oh, look at her videos. Oh, wow, that, that's really her. Like I was like thinking this shit, right? So basically, a light bulb kind of went off in my head and said, hey, well, she's treating me normal. Why does is, why is my wife tell me I'm all stupid and fat and this and that and what the actual fuck? Yeah, who's doing it's like It's like it's like when you get another another person to appraise your property. If you if you go call, say I want to go refinance the house I got, all right, right? I call I call the bank. They send somebody over. We'll give you 100000 And you're like, eh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's all it's worth, right? And someone says, let me get a second opinion, and the next motherfucker comes in and says, oh, well, it's worth uh, 300000 and so and so, so. I don't know who told you that, whatever, blah, 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 blah. You're going to, well, at the very minimum, you're going to doubt and question the first person's value or assessment of your value. Even if you don't totally agree, you might think the other guy's a scammer or some shit, you're still going to, the fir- they, they casted a seed of doubt, as they say, into the first person's judgment or assessment of you. So after after this like just kind of a weird event that's that's like kind of like when the gears in my head started turning and turning and i was like huh well maybe one day i could be the guy with the camera that takes the pictures and all that cool shit and whatever and i just have to like either get better with girls or i have to learn how to do this or you know find out how to shop where do i start at what kind of camera do you have what kind of this how do i do this who's can i whose work can i basically emulate and whose style can I initially copy who's successful, incredible, whatever, whatever, whatever. So that's how I went down the road of learning to like, well, you know, just buy a camera, take pictures and make movies and shit like that, you know? Or that was like one of the opening door things for me there. Just getting uh, getting some validation or whatever. This is where the feminism thing came in, man. It's like, yeah, the, the shit testing totally beat me down and taught me that I was worthless fat, stupid, lazy motherfucker, this, that, this, that, this, that. And I'm like, wow. Now, if I had never done anything for this woman before, she might have some right to say, like, all right, because what what woman wants a deadbeat? But I'm like the farthest thing in the world from a fucking deadbeat. You know, it's like if you work around the clock, you're the one with the kids, and she's just doing what the fuck ever she wants to do. Hmm. You know, it's like I I don't ever forget any of this shit. And it's like... It's been, this is like the first time I'm even bringing any of this shit up to blog about it or talk about it or whatever, because it's been kind of, it's so painful. It's been pushed back in my head so far that I don't really want to bring it up or I don't want to bring it back to the surface and deal with it. But now that I'm looking at the origins of what whatever it is, yeah, definitely. Feminism made me into a the hardcore motherfucking international pornographer that I am today. Because then I, I realized something, uh, I was like, what the fuck? You know, I've, I've been to, I've been actually told by her, you know, you'll never get a girlfriend, all the shaming lines, you'll never get a girlfriend, you got a piece of shit car, nobody likes you, you're ugly, you're this, you're black, you're fat, you're this, you're that, you're stupid, you're this, you're that, oh, you're so invaluable, whatever, whatever, and I'm like, god damn, I never, st- I never stopped and turned on a dime and was like, well, if I'm all, if I'm all fucked up like this, why are you even with me, what, what, what's, what are you waiting for, whatever, 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 you know, Oh, I didn't hear any of that bullshit when you were at the Mercedes dealership and I had to get that shit right off the showroom floor just the way you like it. Huh? Oh, I didn't hear this shit when you were house shopping for, like, the big-ass house on the half an acre with the 30,000-gallon pool and the lanai and the motherfucking waterfall and all that other shit. Yeah. What the fuck? Wasn't talking all that shit back then. Real talk. I gotta bring it up. I gotta talk about it. Now, niggers, you think I'm bullshitting. Look up my old address. Look at my houses. 5204 Hammock Circle, St. Cloud, Florida, 34771, 5410 Cedar Lane, Orlando, Florida. You know, look all these things up. I'm not making, dude. There's pictures and videos on the internet. I got them. Just Google me, Google the addresses, and look up the fucking titles and deeds on all this shit that I had before. It's like... I've made some major, major accomplishments and I've done some major shit, so I can't be that stupid. But I am like any other guy. I'm susceptible to a woman's words and 
whatever that I care about, or at least I used to be. I'm, you know, it took me a while to fucking shake and realize how, how bad or how, uh, how deep the training had gone, how deep the abuse had run, right? And still it affects me to this day. Absolutely. You know, it's like, I actually found that I was able to use this as a strength, I think, because I thought, I, I, and I, I think I still internalize this, I have this internal vision that I am worthless to women based on their previous treatment and abuse of me. Not all of them, but it only, it only takes one that you care about to fucking flip on you and turn your world upside down. It doesn't, tell you, it doesn't mean like the whole world has to be against you. It just takes one. That's all that it takes. It only takes one person to break a horse. It takes one woman to break a man. That's all that it takes. Vice versa, probably too. I don't know though. I'm not in their shoes. So it's like, I was like, oh, well, I could just hire girls and this and that. I don't care. They don't like me anyway. There's no way they could ever like me. I'm stupid. I'm this, I'm that. So I, it really, really, really removed all my fears of rejection and invalidation and whatever, because it made me not chase the validation. I'm like, oh, well, I need to just treat them like a product and hire them and push them out just like boxes and make more movies and crank them out and crank them out and crank them out. That's how I'm able to, you know, just do this shit. A lot, a lot of men aren't able to uh, mentally do porn. By that, I mean, they can't get their dick hard. There's, there's, uh, you know, if there's too many people in the room or they're too embarrassed or you know, sex is a very private thing to most men, and I think that's actually very normal. It's a very normal human thing, you know, but I don't have that. That's what people don't realize. That that uh, shame and whatever has been beat the fuck out of me, you know, to the point where I'm like zero value. None. Zero. So it's like once someone's already broken down, it's just like military training. Once you're broken down to zero... You can't really go, you can't go into the negative with it. You know, it's like, oh, you know, you don't like me. I know you don't like me. I know I'm ugly. I'm just here. I'm just here to do the thing, whatever, whatever. That's why for the longest time, and even probably today, even still, in many cases, I'll be like, I don't care what the girl looks like. I don't care where she's from. I don't care what color she is. I don't care how tall or short or what shape the fuck she is. She don't like me anyway. And almost nothing she can tell me or convince me that you can't tell me otherwise and that's really it that's really it um i'll give you guys another example if you've ever been to any of the uh uh da, 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 adult adult conventions like avn uh the consumer ones not the not the webmaster ones the consumer ones like avn exotica miami uh i think they do it in new york and some other places too uh, da, 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 not FedCon. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. I'm not really a, like a porn consumer kind of guy or whatever. So, but anyway, they, every now and then they have these shows where you can like meet the models, meet the video stars and whatever. And you go into these places and, uh, you know, there'll be like a hundred guys waiting in line to go and, uh, meet a girl for five seconds, take a picture with her and get paper signed or whatever. I've done before myself about a dozen times or whatever. And the, the interesting thing is just looking at the guys, looking at their faces of exhilaration and awe and wow factor because they've, you know, they've met, I guess, the, their celebrity or the girl they jack off to and they got a picture with her and it's like, whatever, you know, it's like I have a signed picture from her, you know, I'm like, nowadays I'm like, well, yeah, we were just, she was just over here last week, and that's so-and-so, and yeah, but it's like, I I don't see them in the same light, of course not, neither do they see me in the same light, so it's like, for a guy that don't have no validation, or you don't have a girl that seemingly care, basically, for a guy to receive validation from an attractive girl that he likes, it's very, very meaningful, I think, I mean, guys will pay, I've done it before, you'll give the world, or pay, pay the world for that approval, due to the training and upbringing of, uh, you know, getting female validation is the shit. So I think that's how I became a pornographer, video guy, this and that. It's just, I, I, I got broken down. I found out I don't care. I was think I used to always worry about shit. Like, oh, what are you kids going to think? Are you naked on the internet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what's the alternative for me?
what, like what it's like if by trade I'm I'm a carpenter or whatever you know hammer and nails and wood what do you think I'm going to go back to doing you know do you think I'm gonna start building submarines or something what the fuck no I'm gonna tangent off whatever whatever I do that's what that's what Jimmy does the video camera guy the computer guy the internet guy the porno guy and that's probably what I'm always gonna be doing really so it's what I'm comfortable and good at so like that feminist programming can actually be effective to create more shimmies single mother programming will create more internet pornographers more porn stars more guys that just quote unquote go and fuck hoes etc because you're gonna beat the man down to the point where he's he doesn't value himself you know because I, I mean to this day it's like a girl could walk up to me and be like hey uh, whatever whatever do anything sort of saying I like you unless she actually is being like hey I like you which rarely as fuck happens I don't really want to believe them I'm so neutral like so dead around so many girls it's like incredible I could be in a room full of naked ladies which I often am and I'm just like not affected by it because I used to always feel like oh well they're not they don't like me they're not here for me I'm just like I might as well be a fucking broom what the fuck you know that's really the take that I put on it. I don't think that I'm likable or lovable due to the programming that has been imputed in me by bitches basically just abusing me doing shit testing games for their own profit and venture and selfish emotional needs or requirements or whatever thirst, whatever the fuck kind of head problems they got have spilled over to me and devalued me where I got to the point where I just don't care. Some people say they, oh, I don't care about this. Well, I really mean it. Yeah, so dwell on that shit. When I say I don't really care about something, it's, it's pretty much gospel. Some people talk the talk, but I'll, yeah, I did that because I don't care about that. Or I don't care about the outcome of that. Or we did that, that, that because it doesn't matter. That's pretty scary, actually, right? But that's what the brain can get beat into. That's what you could get beat down into, you know? And fuck, that's just my take on it, man. So for those of you who are wondering how I ever crossed the bridge of, you know, how can you go get naked in front of the camera? How can you don't care about what girls, you don't care about who you fuck? You don't care, like, no, not really. They don't like me. I, you know, it's, 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 a, it's really hard to overcome. I really find it hard to, hard to, uh, hard to love after all that shit actually it is it's hard for me to love a girl and when I do I know I'm gonna go all the way I don't half ass shit anyway well, maybe I could go work right this battery's probably charged I'm rambling thanks for listening to my brain the shimmy show bye